Okay, now we're going to talk about building a media plan. We talked about creating an ad that's based on a strategy, a copy strategy. It can be tested before you air it. How do you build a media plan? And uh, I think it's a combination of uh, some math, which we're not going to get into today because it's just a little too hairy, and art. <laughs> okay. Science and art. Uh, yeah, so science on the left. Who? How big is the audience size? What are the ratings? Who? What are the demographics specifically exposed to each uh, website or uh, place you want to place your ad? How do different media work together to reach your audience? Do they complement each other? Is there duplicated reach between two, two different media types? If I buy uh, WNYC Public Radio in New York and I buy the New York Times, there are probably a lot of people who read the New York Times and listen to public radio. So I, I'm going to be duplicating. How much extra reach do I get to new people by adding public radio on top of my New York Times buy? But all those things are quantifiable. The other part of it is the art part. That's the guy on the right there, Jackson Pollock. Um, and that's, uh, you know, given what the ad looks like, given the creative, are there some special things we can do with it in terms of the media we place it on? Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, the media plan we're going to look at in a minute is done for a product called Power Mat which came out a few years ago. Um, it was a mat you could put your phone or any wireless device on, and it, if your phone was enabled for it, it would charge your phone. So you plugged in the power mat, but you didn't have to plug in all your devices. You could just put your device, plop right down on the power mat, it would charge it pretty quickly. And the theme of the ad campaign is, you know, cut the wires. So as you'll see, I'm going to show you an ad, one of the first ads, in a minute. And then I'm going to show you some of the thinking for the media plan, so you get a sense of how it all really works. I'm going to show you the actual media plan presentation from the agency to the client. I was consulting for the client, so I have a copy of it. So creative. Creative. So we knew business travelers, sort of road warriors, were a key target for this product. Um, and so we were going to do ads in airports. And so one of the ideas one of the creative people had was, can we put ads on the uh, doors, uh, the automatic doors that open when you leave the airport? They usually, uh, it's two doors joined together, and they'll, they pull apart. So they give you a nice wide avenue to take your bags out and you know hail a cab or whatever you're going to do or an Uber. So they wanted to um, have wires on the drawn, you know, electric wires, charging wires, charging cords, drawn on the, on the glass or applied to the glass on the doors somehow. And then when the doors open, the wires would recede and disappear. So that's an example of creativity in terms of where you place the ad. It's a bit like making a painting. You know, I want to add a little of this, a little of that to, to influence my audience. Media plan starts with a marketing plan. Remember I said that's something that the client brings to the table. This is a revenue goal, a share of the market goal. What percent of overall market sales will I have? How many new customers do I want? These are all quantifiable business goals that are kind of at the top level of the plan. How much do I have to sell by when? Where will I get the sales volume? Meaning, will I get it from current users or new users? And if I get new users, am I taking business from my competition? If I'm, how am I going to take business from my competition? Have I got a competitive claim against them? Do I have an improved product I can talk about in my ads? Um, or am I going to build the market? So for Cascade, Cascade had over 50% of the dishwasher detergent market. And um, the way Cascade built its business was not from taking business from competitors. It was when it was new home construction. 
new homes with new dishwashers meant more cascade sales which so that built the overall market for dishwasher detergent and cascade would get more than its share of it particularly since it usually sampled inside the dishwashers it had put a box of cascade inside most of the new dishwashers didn't hurt how much business do i get from current customers how many customers do i lose every year how many new customers do i need who are my ideal customers how will I acquire the new customers? All these things are in the marketing plan. And just a quick note, if you have uh, an existing business and you know who your customers are, you have a database, there's something called the most valuable customer, very important concept in database marketing. Uh, the acronym is MVC. And um, these are the people in your database who are the most loyal, who spend the most, they complain the least, they're the most profitable customers. What demographic or psychographic characteristics do these people have in common? Hopefully you can find some. And once you know who those people are, that's the kind of person you want for new customers, right? So you're going after the big fish. Okay. And that's the first thing is to know the target customer. Know your target. Define your target. Know your target. Then you need to look at research, which is available out there. What media does your target intersect with? What do they watch? What do they do on their phones? What do they watch on their TV? What do they read? What do they listen to? Where do they travel? I can get them without a home on the way to work or shop. When I think about media types, then I think about media vehicles in terms of you know, where do I want to be? Am I going to be local in New York or San Francisco or Tuscaloosa? Am I national? You know, where, where, where's, where am I doing business? Are there certain seasons when I want to spend more money on media? Okay. So, right, these are some of the secondary sources, MRI. So this is a little look at PowerMats. Uh, media plan is presented by the ad agency. Uh, first, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to stop, and we're going to look at an ad for PowerMat. This came. This was a few. This is over 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. Uh, 